On a game show, you're given the choice between three doors. Behind one door is a car. Behind the other two doors are goats. Obviously, you have a one out of three chance of winning and picking the correct door, regardless of where the car is. But the game isn't that simple. The host offers you another choice. Let's say you pick door one. The host then reveals a goat behind door three. And the host offers you the choice to switch to door two. Should you switch? Most people's intuition tells them that there are two doors remaining, so each door remaining should have a one-half probability of containing the car. So it shouldn't matter whether you switch or not. Well, this intuition is wrong. The origins of this problem, called the Monty Hall problem, are from a game show named Let's Make a Deal and its original host, Monty Hall. So let's make sure we understand the game completely. After you choose a door, the host must always open one of the two remaining doors not selected by the contestant. The host must always reveal a goat behind that door, and the host must always offer the chance to switch to the remaining door. In other words, the host does the same thing every single time. Every single time, he will reveal a goat behind one of the doors you do not choose. And thus, no new information is actually ever revealed to you. So here's a little intuition on why we should switch doors. Your initial choice had a one-third probability of being correct. And based on the rules, the host was always going to reveal a goat behind some other door, so you gained no information about your door, and it still must be a one-third probability of winning. And the only other remaining door must be the other two-thirds probability of winning. And this is usually covered in an intro probability and statistics class, where people will draw tree diagrams to solve the problem and show that it is better to switch. And tree diagrams are often used to solve problems involving conditional probabilities or Bayes' rule. And by solving with the tree diagram, students are shocked and amazed by the power of probability to deliver this unexpected result. But I'm going to offer you an alternative approach. Instead of pretending this is some giant mystery, I want you to be able to think about this game so clearly that the result is obvious to you, and you will wonder how anyone could ever have been confused. So if we don't switch, what happens? Well, there was a one-third chance you initially chose the correct door. And if you don't switch, you will win whatever you originally picked. And therefore, without switching, you will only win when you originally picked the correct door, one-third of the time. But what if you switch? There was a two-thirds chance you initially chose the incorrect door. The original door, therefore, has a goat. The host reveals the other goat. Therefore, switching will always get you to the only remaining door that has a car. Therefore, you will always win when you switch, after picking the in incorrect door initially. And because you initially picked the incorrect door two-thirds of the time, you'll win two-thirds of the time by switching. Maybe adding some extra doors will help us understand this. When you pick a door, you are dividing the doors into two groups, the one you picked and the remaining doors. So your original door has a 1 out of 10 chance of winning if there are 10 doors, and the other doors have a 9 out of 10 chance of containing the car. And these probabilities, 1 tenth and 9 tenth, will always stay the same until there is only one door left, in which case we know what door has a car. So let's say the host reveals a goat. Well, those remaining 8 doors still have a 9 out of 10 probability. And because all of those doors are equal, that means they each have a 9 out of 80 probability because the 9 out of 10 probability is evenly divided between the 8 doors. And we can keep revealing more goats, and that 9 tenths probability will still be distributed between the remaining 7 doors. They will each have 9 out of 7 probability. And we can keep revealing more and more goats. And when all 8 goats are revealed, the remaining door now has all of the 9 tenths probability. So should you switch? Well, yes, you should switch, because your door still only has a 1 out of 10 probability. The last remaining door will have all the probability of that group of doors, 9 out of 10. By revealing all the goats, the host is actually revealing information to you to point you towards the only possible door of that group that could contain the car. Whereas not switching is only good if your original guess was lucky and happened to be correct. So back to the original problem with three doors. Let's say you pick door one. The host then reveals a goat behind door three. The original door only had a one-third chance of containing the car, and still does because absolutely nothing has changed. The host provided no new information. These two doors still have a two-thirds chance of containing the car, and by revealing the goat, the host pointed you to the door that would contain the car. So, believe me, you have goat to switch doors. I'm not kidding. That's the end. Please like and subscribe to learn more statistics.